Right, I've just finished testing a set of clubs which earlier on this year I ignored, to be quite honest with you, and it could have been a huge mistake. The irons in question are from Taylor Made, and they are, of course, as you can now see, the QI10. Now, the QI10 got a huge launch in terms of marketing department from Taylor Made, and the irons somehow, for me at least, got overlooked. And like I've said already, I ignored what is quite possibly a very, very good iron for a huge amount of golfers out there. So this video is going to be coming in two parts. First of all, I'm down here at Chester and North Wales Golf Academy, where I'm going to be on track, and I'm going to be collecting data from a seven iron and a five iron. And then we're going to take them out on the golf course and see the correlation between data and reality. Let's not forget, this is very much a super game improvement iron. It is aimed at the masses. And like I said, my early testing suggests it could have a lot of appeal for a lot of golfers. Right, so before we reel the data that is, uh, well, it's impressive enough, we're gonna take these out on the course here at the McDonald Portal Hotel and Spa. I'm on the championship course. I've got with me the five, the seven, and the nine iron. And we're gonna see how these things perform in reality. And that is exactly what we've seen in terms of data. That's just a five iron that has gone off like an absolute bullet. These QI10 irons go a long, long way. A lot of that is relative to their loft. They are strong lofted, but their performance is also super forgiving. You just get used to the yardages out on the course. Oh my God, yeah, I mean, that's a, a nine iron sort of going 145 uphill, that is as well. So that's playing again fairly long. What I do like is I like the launch on the shorter irons. That's picked the ball up and launching it high. My concern at the opposite end of the scale was the five iron and perhaps the seven are launching just a tad too low. So that's the kind of thing that I just want to have a look at out here on the golf course today. The super striking again just to see that better launch that's what's concerned with the tee shot but we were slightly uphill so it's encouraging to see that was a five iron again these are very hot off the face and the ball is going a long way interesting to see how that reacts on the green Let's sit down yeah it's popped on a little bit and that spin is always going to be a concern with these kind of irons and with the nine iron again a decent ball that I struck, but still just comes out a little bit low for me. So really what I'm learning straight away on the golf course is that, well, Trackman never lies. That's something that is uh, always a good barometer, but I'm also seeing it out here on the course where ball flight is a little bit lower, but the distances are going a lot further. So it's that strong loft that is making up for the extra carriage, uh, carry, but also at that lower ball flight. So what I would need to work out is that we're definitely moving down a club or maybe one more to kind of get the ball flight that I'd be looking for in these kind of distances. So it's always a compromise and it's always something you've got to consider. But overall, the performance that I'm noticing is the ball speeds off the club face. Super again, out the rough, not a problem. We got a good bounce there. That could come back on the green because I pulled it a little bit left. And also the fact that if I give myself any sort of excuse, there's plenty of offset on these clubs. They're definitely an anti-slice club. That's what they're aimed to do. For me, it's kind of, again, uh, just working me a little bit left. And I always say this with offset is you just got to get the sort of setup and address comfortable because that certainly felt as though uh, I was aiming down there. Oh, it seems a little bit closed, but for a lot of golfers, obviously, and for what this club is aimed at, if you slice the ball with your irons, then this is definitely working to help. There's one interesting point I wanted to mention, and that's uh, Lewis Johnson, the uh, professional at Hollywell Golf Club, they do custom fit for TaylorMade. And he said that it is one of the best performing clubs that he has seen in most of the custom iron custom fittings that he's tested for majority of average golfers with a slower swing speed. So that's really interesting now we can't ignore how this club looks because it's quite different to be honest with you than what's out there in the marketplace and it's definitely a change from what we've seen from tailor-made as well and again i think it's quite a leap forward visually i love the look of it it's definitely a cavity back iron but the cavity is filled with this plastic insert so effectively it looks like more like a hollow bodied iron uh, and that's sort of solid one piece build now 
from a visual perspective, a lot of people say that looks do not matter, but I would argue that nobody's going to walk into a shop, spend close on to whatever it is, 700 to 1,000 pound, and not like the look of what they buy. So let me know what you think of this new QI10 from TaylorMade. Is it one that at least suits your eye? Let's start with the 7-iron first of all. We've got a carry distance of 170 yards, launching at 18.8, uh, ball so club head speed rather of 77.1 a ball speed of 112 peak height of 82 real low spin number and a half decent descent angle let's not forget these are super strong lofted irons so for me that's a number that i'd probably hit with at least with my six iron at least one iron weaker so the spin number is a little bit scarily low but I will always say whenever I collect data, my spin number is low, but I would want that to be in around the 5,000 mark. So that's the one number that would scare me right now before we go out on the golf course and see what happens in reality. They also launch a little bit low, but like I said, that's down to the strong loft. Great carry distance, descent angle is okay. You then go into the five iron, 189, 190 carry, 16.6 .6 launch, um, club at speed, a little bit quicker, longer shaft, 82, almost 83 mile an hour, and a ball speed of 121. Peak height of 82, spin number is almost the same on the five as it was on the seven, and also the land angle. In many ways, the five iron is the star out of those two clubs in terms of data at least, but what I tell you is happening is there is a huge amount of ball speed coming off this club face based on my swing speed. And that is what these clubs are aimed at. They're there to produce fast ball speeds, but I would wanna see just a little bit of a higher launching ball and a little bit more spin. That's a decent enough ball to finish. And the question I asked in this video was, have I actually ignored the best irons of 2024? Or the most forgiving irons of 2024? I'll probably say the answer to that is no, no I haven't. I like what they've done with these QI10s and I think they would certainly appeal to a certain golfer. That certain golfer is gonna be somebody who is struggling with club head speed and losing ball speed. Because these things go a long way, but then they do that relative to loft. And we've seen plenty of clubs in that game improvement genre that do exactly the same. So I'm really not sure what is in the QI10 that would make it stand out and why it would be something that I would recommend that you necessarily try. They're good irons, but they're not something that we haven't seen before. And that's for me is my conclusion. I always try and be sort of as frank and as honest as possible. We also try to see the positives and there are plenty, but there's nothing different than what we've seen before. So if you're looking for new irons, give them a whirl and let me know what you think. If you've got these in the bag already and I've got this one wrong, then tell me why the QI10s are such a good iron for your fellow golfer to consider. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to Portal Golf Club for having us and uh, thanks for the sun shining. It's been a great day and I'll see you all soon.